Hello, my name is Jude Ferns. I'm a Year 1 teacher at Ashdale Primary School, which is a very large um, primary school in the northern suburbs. Um, we first became aware of the Maths Talent Quest when we were um, trying to become a math Maths Active School. So what we did first was we went to the professional learning that was run by John Curtin High School which was very helpful. We also um, had a look at the information that was provided through the MAWA site, which is very comprehensive, has lots of ideas, and was very helpful. When we first started, we decided to start reasonably small. So we worked with a group of year four students who I'd worked with before in an extension group and I met with those children at lunch times once a week. There was some year six students whose teachers also gave them the opportunity to enter the Maths Talent Quest. I would meet with them every week because they were uh, bright children and fairly motivated themselves. Most of my role was just to support them um, check that they are on track, give them ideas for their investigations if they needed it. Sometimes I helped them with the maths if they weren't sure of how, for example, how to solve um, averages. Some of them needed some help with that. Uh, I helped them with photocopying because a lot of them were doing surveys so they would need some help with photocopying. And as we got closer to the end, also just checking um, that and editing their work to make sure that everything was okay. I also reminded them a lot to go back and look through the rubrics for the assessment just to make sure that they were covering all the things that they needed to. We entered about five entries, I think, in the first year. There were more children who actually um, completed the competition but we were always made them aware we'd, we'd choose um, those entries that we thought um, were of a good standard to put in. Some of them didn't finish but a lot of them really enjoyed going through the process anyway. Initially we worked with a small group of children who were motivated um, mathematically and I would meet with them one day a week during lunchtime. They were aware that they had to do a lot of the work outside of class time and I was just there as a support. Um, they were very self-motivated so my role was just to support them, to go through their investigations, support them to, if they needed extra support with their investigations to make them slightly more complex, um, to check that they they knew how to do the maths that they were doing if they had difficulty with some of the maths for example how to work out averages some of them weren't quite sure how to do that initially i also helped out with photocopying so if they needed surveys photocopied i would do that for them um, i also would remind them to go back through the rubrics the assessment rubrics because i knew that's what they would be judged on so that was helpful for them and also towards the end, as it got closer to the time of submitting, I would just go through and edit their work to check there wasn't spelling errors and just to check the maths obviously was correct. We, we always made sure that the children were aware that would only put the entries in if they were of a good standard. Some of them didn't finish the work or we didn't think they were appropriate, so we didn't enter them but they still learnt a lot through going through the process and the investigation. I really love the Maths Talent Quest because the kids are very motivated by it. They love doing it. Um, I talked to some of the kids who have entered over the last couple of years recently and some of the things that they have said is that they really like the problem solving side of it. They love being able to choose the topics that they're investigating. They really enjoyed finding out other people's opinions on things. They really enjoyed collaborating. Most of the children that we have entered have worked with a partner or in a group. And they said that they got a great sense of satisfaction out of completing their entries. 
they also mentioned that the maths that they learnt through doing the Maths Talent Quest was maths that they've never forgotten. Because it was embedded and they learnt it for a particular purpose, that was what they were interested in, that they have never forgotten that maths, which is a great outcome. When we first submitted our first lot of entries, I was quite nervous about the quality of the entries because we'd never done it before and some of our investigations were fairly simple. For example, one of our groups had investigated the number or the different colours in Smarties boxes and then they'd compared that to um, children's preferences of colours in, for Smarties. But those children did very well in the competition and it doesn't matter if the idea is fairly simple, so long as they follow the mathematical investigation um, sequence and also look through the rubrics and present it well and they show the maths that they've used, they can do very well even with a fairly simple idea. Last year, we were not, because of COVID, we weren't sure whether we would actually enter any any entries last year because of COVID and it hit at about the time we were starting to do the entries. However, the children who'd entered the year before were so keen to do it again that they actually were asking us if they would have the opportunity. They'd come and see me and say, can we do it again? So I made sure that I um, organised for them to meet me again, just during lunch times. Again, they had lots of ideas of what they wanted to investigate and again we got quite a few entries um, finished and sent in. Um, because I'm interested in, in child-centred learning and giving children a choice in their learning, I decided that I would like to try a class investigation with my year one class. So we started with a with dominoes and I just let the children investigate through play initially and from that we generated the areas or the things that they would like to investigate. Obviously we ended up with investigating topples and different ways of topples, numbers of dominoes in topples and they had a lot of time timing that and just investigating how long it took to set them up. We also watched a lot of videos on domino topples which are amazing to look at. Um, we also investigated the different patterns that you can make um, with the domino dots and domino colours which the children really enjoyed. So we ended up with more entries than we probably thought last year. So this year we've been keen to try to get more children involved again and I've run whole school professional learning and shown them examples of the entries that we've had from previous years. And through our numeracy curriculum team, we have been, we have been trying to get more classes and more groups of students involved in the Talent Quest. Again, we're still running at most year groups want to run it as more of an extension task. So again, the children do most of the work in their own time. We just meet with them once a week to support them with their ideas and all of the other things I mentioned before. At the moment, we've got the year fours, fives and sixes with quite a few students who are interested in in entering and again I will do another class entry. Hopefully we'll have a few more class entries but I'm not sure. But a lot more people seem to be involved and keen to have a go this year. For those people who are starting or thinking of having a go at entering the Maths Talent Quest I would strongly recommend it because the children are very motivated by it. They love the maths part of it, they love the investigation part of it and the problem solving. 
you will find that they are so self-motivated to do the work themselves that your job really is only to support them, give them advice, check in with them, see how they're going, do the photocopying and all those things and then the final edits at the end. And you will find that there is a lot of excellent information on the, in the Maua pack that you can download from the Maua site that will give you all the extra information that you need. And there's also lots of ideas there of the types of things that they can investigate.